Welcome to my project ideas. This is an ongoing series on chat GPT projects. In this particular project, we'll learn how to integrate SAP UI5 with chat GPT. And there are a few prerequisites, like you need to create an open API key. Then you need to have an access of IDE. It can be web ID, it can be SAP BAS, or it can be any open source like Eclipse. And then you need to know how to exactly, you know, do a fetch call. You can use either HTTPS call or you can use AJAX calls, whatever you need. So this is a simple diagram explaining the flow of the project. So we'll first of all create the API key that is from the open API. And then we'll create a simple UI5 project. And within that we'll integrate the chat GPT call. We'll provide these articles within the description. You can just go to these articles and see or read what exactly are the steps required for the API key creation. So this is the URL where you need to visit. Log in via your email ID or Gmail ID and create a new secret ID. Do remember to save this somewhere because once you will copy and click OK, it will be lost. So now you have created an API key. The next steps involves creation of SAP UI5 project that are also are involved very simple steps like you need to go to web ID or bus and either you can generate or you can click on a few places and create a blank UI5 project, right? So these steps are also mentioned uh, within this article. This will be also provided in the description of the video. So if I go to the web ID, this will be the required output where uh, the page header is named as get answers from chat GPT. We have a input box, we have a button and below that we have a text area where the answers will arrive. So if I go back and check the view, same things are written in the code also. A simple input box, a button and a text area. And if I go to the controller, whenever we press on press GPT, this function is called and in that we need to provide the API key that we have just copied. And the prompt is a simple variable which is taking the value from the input box. And then we do an HTTPS call where we are posting this uh, data on this particular API link. And we have also marked the maximum tokens that is the output uh, length for the text. So yeah, that's it. And whatever value is coming, we are setting in the text area like this. So I'll just uh, jump. What is the full form of CDN? So if you can see that uh, it is giving an answer that doesn't look relevant to our use case. So I'm now writing what is the full form of CDN in IT. So now you can see that it has given me a different answer. So like that you can create a chatbot also using these queries. Simple post calls are there. That's it. So yeah, that's it for this today's video and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.